Hello, I'm Brent Ferris, and in this video we're going to uh, finish up this mini-series of Gearman by making a distributed system where we can have multiple workers and then the client uh, can call multiples of them. Uh, a scenario where this is helpful is let's say that a user uploads like 10 images and you want to process all 10 Im images, but you don't want to do one at a time. And I'll show you what I mean by one at a time. If I nano the worker and I add in a sleep for two seconds here and then I run it in the background so we're gonna say PHP worker ampersand run in the background and I'm gonna nano the clients I'm gonna call this uh, two times so when I call PHP client it's gonna go through and it's gonna do the sleep for two seconds and you notice that every two seconds it's gonna process it that's because it's doing one at a time and uh, even if I added more than one worker. Let's say I have two workers now. If I ran it, it's still going to do one and then it's going to wait two seconds and do two. And that's because the client is waiting for the worker to finish uh, before it continues. Um, so I'm going to kill all PHP here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my worker to have that two second sleep, but I'm going to change my client to instead of doing the synchronous do call I'm gonna add a task uh, for doing the same thing over and over and I'm gonna call it and except this time it's gonna be distributed across all of the workers so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a for loop for i is equal to zero i is less than five we're gonna do it five times i plus plus and we're also gonna see an anomaly that I'll explain whenever I'm doing this as well um, so what we wanna do is set up our client so that it can add task. So what we're going to do is client C -L -I -T -L -I -E -N -T, I can spell add task and we're going to pass in the name of the task that we're going to be processing which is reverse as you can see below and we're going to pass in the data which is hello Monica and now we're going to pass null here don't worry about that one for now um, if you really want to know it you can check it on the website but we don't need it uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to pass uh, I in here. This last uh, parameter here is the ID for this task because tasks can actually complete out of order. Let's say that somebody submits 10 images. One's a little tiny one and one's a big one and another one's a tiny one and they're all mixed. The big one's going to take longer than the tiny one even though that the bigger one was uh, sent first. It's not going to complete first. The tiny one's going to get processed first. So. This uh, identifier here allows us to know which one actually is completed. So speaking of completing it, we need to now add in a callback for whenever this process is completed. So each time that the task is complete, it's going to call this method. So client, add, not add, set callback or set complete callback. And then we can pass in just a our function name which I'm gonna call done in this scenario so come down here we can get rid of these lines because we're already doing this now in the for loop uh, function and we're gonna say done which is our function name and this is gonna take in a uh, gearman task and what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna echo it out and we're gonna echo out its ID too so echo uh, task data and then let's add a little pipe character here um, and then let's add in the task ID so task uh, get ID so oh no, that's not it that's the wrong one so this is unique u-n-i-q-u-e I can spell and let's add a new line this time because I keep forgetting so each task that's done will print out and it'll give its unique ID. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to run two workers. So I'm going to run a worker in the background. I'm going to run two workers in the background there. And I'm going to say PHP client. And uh, it's not going to work because I didn't call run tasks. So we're going to nano client and not forget to call client run tasks here and this is a synchronous method this method will not continue uh, you won't get past this line until all of the tasks are complete so even if I like echo done here uh, 
you won't see this until it's actually done because all the test needs to complete before uh, it continues execution. So now if I say PHP client with those guys still running in the background, you'll see that it waits two seconds and we'll get two to start off and we'll get two at a time. Now the reason that we're only getting two at a time and notice done happened at the end is because we only have two clients, but notice that they ended at the same time because the process takes the same amount of time. It's sleeping and then it's reversing. So if I wanted to, I can actually have, I'm gonna just start like 50 workers here. Now if I do PHP client, it's gonna wait the two seconds and pretty much all of them are gonna be done at once because all those tasks got distributed across all of the workers. It didn't all just get funneled to one worker. Gearman does all of the heavy lifting to know which workers are in use and which workers are available, and it takes your process and adds it to an available worker, which will make him, uh, which will make it actually like it's multi-threaded, like uh, the processes will happen simultaneously. So there you go. This is uh, your initial complete rundown of Gearman. Um, I just recently learned it to do a bunch of tasks, and I've had a lot of fun with it and learned a whole bunch about it. Uh, it's very, very powerful. If you have the uh, if you have BizSpark or anything or, or a way to test it out on a bunch of servers, I recommend testing it out. It's really cool. You can get a whole bunch of things processed really quick. Um, it's good for like crawling websites. It's good for processing videos. You can use it to uh, maybe save out renderings, uh, rendered frames of your animation. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. So uh, let me know what you think. And, uh, and uh, thanks for watching. So until next time, I'll see you later.